Hello there, welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review, the Asveen P30 Piston Filler. Let's take a look right now. So no sooner had I reviewed the new Asveen P20 Piston Filler, of course the Asveen V169 Vacuum Filler I had already reviewed, very interesting pen, but they come out with a new model, Asveen P30. And so I had to order that, and here it is, just before Christmas. There we go, the Asveen box we've seen before. Write and record your good life. Let's see if we have the typical Moon Man plastic box. And there is the Moon Man plastic box that says, Asveen on it. Well, the P30, there it is, in its condom. The P30 is a rounded end, so it's the cigar shape, piston filler, but it is in this metal bronze look. And it looks very similar to another pen, which I have to dig out of my archives. Here it is, the Moonman T1 piston filler. In terms of the piston, they look very similar. So we'll clean this out, ink it up, and give it a try. The Asveen P30. So I'm going to show the parts and features of this pen, some size comparisons, measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. Overall, the pen is a relatively heavy, metal and acrylic piston filler in a classic cigar shape. It's almost identical in size and shape to the Wingsong 699, which comes as either a vacuum filler or a piston filler, and itself is a clone of the Pilot 823. Of course, being metal, I'm assuming brass, this pen is much heavier than the Wingsong by about 17 grams. And the pen has this marvelous antique bronze finish. which I believe is enamel paint over brass, and the whole thing has been given a coat of acrylic to make it very smooth. And the barrel of the pen is clear turned acrylic, so you can see that piston mechanism and the ink inside. From the top, we see the bullet-shaped finial, which is separated from the cap by the clip ring. The clip and the clip ring are given the same antique bronze treatment, which is very nice. I think this would look awful with gold or silver-colored plated hardware. The teardrop clip is nicely springy and usable. The cap curves up to a single groove, and then it has Asveen and the model number P30 laser engraved into it. There's a small step down to the clear acrylic barrel, which is straight for its length to a flat bronze colored ring, which is part of the piston mechanism actually, and attached to the bottom of the barrel. Then there is the bullet-shaped piston knob and finial. The cap unscrews with one and a half turns to reveal a tapering metal section with the same bronze paint treatment and the number six size Asveen steel medium nib and black plastic feed. The section is smooth, but not slippery as with some metal sections and is very comfortable in the grip and has a nice flare towards the nib. Let's get a closer look at this nib. It has some border scroll work, a script capital M in a circle that represents the medium nib, and then Asveen in the script lettering. The nib and the feed are part of a nib assembly that unscrews for maintenance or replacement, and the section does not unscrew. The inside of the cap shows a black plastic cap liner that incorporates the cap threads and seals the nib. The cap posts, but not very deeply, and directly on that piston knob. So if you turn that cap, it'll turn the piston and you'll have an inky mess on your hands or in your lap. The cap is also pretty heavy, so it severely back weights that pen and makes it very long as well. So I wouldn't recommend posting this pen for any of those reasons. Unposted, the pen is nicely balanced and plenty long enough. I bought this pen from Sally at her Easy Buy Etsy shop for $31.98 but it's on sale now for $28.99 US. 
Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Asveen P30 piston filler with a Wing Sung 699. This comes in either the piston filler or the vacuum filler. This particular one is a vacuum filler. A Wing Sung 629 piston filler, an Asveen P20 piston filler, and a Moon Man T1 piston filler. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. And again, you're playing with fire if you post either the Asveen, uh, either Asveen P30 or P20 and Moon Man because they all pissed right. I just almost said they all pissed right on the post filler. Socrates himself was permanently pissed. But they all post right on the piston filler. So don't do that. Let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. These are all number six size steel nibs, except for the Wingsung 629, which this model has a 14 karat gold medium Wingsung nib. You can get this with a steel nib instead. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Asveen P30 and it has a medium steel number six size nib. Let's check the wetness. This is nicely wet and the nib is very very smooth. This is right out of the box. No, no fuss, no muss. And it's laying down a very nice, for a, an Asian nib, it's laying down a very nice line for a medium. And the ink. I chose this ink because I wanted it to look nice in this bronze colored pen. And this ink has a shimmer to it and I think it's a nice match. It's J Urbain Shogun. It has a really nice dark charcoal kind of a look to it with a bronze sheen. And we catch the light here. There we go. Bronze sheen. And here it is with J Urbain's Stormy Gray which is a not as warm of a charcoal black uh, but it has a gold shimmer to it that one did i say that was sheen that's a shimmer it has a bronze sheen and a bronze coppery kind of a shimmer to it the shogun this is ferris wheel press roaring patina black i really like this color this is kind of a deep blue black uh, you can see it shades to blue and almost a little bit of turquoise but its sheen is reddish pinkish and the shimmer is gold so three very interesting black inks. But I think this bronze ink works really nice in this pen. As to line variation, well, you can squeeze a little bit out of this nib, uh, but it is fairly stiff, which is to be expected of a, an Asian steel nib. And the line this pen makes is thicker vertically than it is horizontally which is interesting and it makes a 0 0.3 millimeter line vertically and 0 0.5 millimeters horizontally which makes it a western double extra fine to a fine or a japanese extra fine to a fine stroke medium on my richard binder chart which you can find linked in the description and for our quote and for some reverse writing well that's just as smooth as the regular way it's skipping a bit but that feed is actually keeping up in reverse so those sketchers among you might take note of that and for some quick writing
this is a very very juicy pen no issues whatsoever so what do i like and what do i not like so much about this fountain pen well i bought this pen strictly to review i didn't expect to like it as i'm not that fond of the heavy brass look but this pen surprised me in three ways first it's nice looking for a brass pen the finish is like a gold speckle and is shiny and smooth with the acrylic coating next unposted the pen is very comfortable very nice in the hand and the balance is perfect the weight sits in your palm with that brass piston knob resting between your thumb and forefinger and it's surprisingly comfortable for a pen that weighs 30 grams uncapped and finally the nib is wonderful i tend to expect these asian steel nibs to be thin nails and have a lot of feedback or downright scratchy but this one makes a nice thick line for an eastern fine nib and is nicely wet and smooth the pen holds 1.5 milliliters of ink which is a lot of ink the piston mechanism is the twisby narwhal moon man asveen part and works flawlessly and is easy to remove to clean the pen i'm hard pressed to say anything negative about it other than it might not be your cup of tea if you don't like pens that weigh over 40 grams and there you have it if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and please look in the description for a link to gold spot pens as i'm now an affiliate of the online store and we shop at gold spot using my link you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you you can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and i guarantee i'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get these cool emojis badges and sneak peek unboxing videos as well and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote this.